Greetings, everyone. Welcome back. It's Elsie. I'm really sorry that I didn't post a video last week. Um, as I mentioned in one of my posts, my schedule is now, I'm just posting once a week. I'm back at uni, so my schedule is literally full up, so, um, you guys will <laughs> only get to see me once a week, but, um, yeah, sorry about last week, it's just absolutely hectic at the moment, um, so I thought today I'd just do a bit of a chill video, a bit of a vlog, I guess, about my writing and what I've been working on, um, so yeah, um, as you guys know, I'm an ancient history student, that's my major, I also major in Latin, I'm terrible at Latin. Um, so I have a huge passion for all things history, um, and that's obviously why a lot of my books, like Sparkling Ivy and Let's Kill Caesar, especially, center around ancient history and, um, themes from, you know, those time periods. Um, and I thought I'd start off today by talking a bit about research. Now, when I first started my writing journey, and I remember I was quite young, very young, naive, a bit, just not, not, not with it, not with the program, but anyway, I didn't really realize when authors said, oh, I have to do research for stuff, I was like, what are they researching? Like, you're writing, you're writing your own thing, but now... I'm at that time in my writing journey and my life where I'm like, shit, I actually need to do research if I want to write these books. And I thought I'd talk about a bit of the research I do. Um, so as you know, I think most of this video I'll be talking about Let's Kill Caesar because that's my most current work that I'm really focusing on along with Sparkling Ivy, but... Let's be honest, that's more planned out. Anyway, with Let's Kill Caesar, it's obviously based in a world where the Roman Republic still exists, but in modern times. So as a history student, I was very lucky that I've done courses specifically in the time periods that I'm inspired by or trying to kind of create con in a contemporary way. Um... So I've been very lucky in the aspect, but I do do a lot of research before I start these big projects. In particular, Let's Kill Caesar. So my, I really love the Roman period of the Republic, uh, big Roman Republic fan. Um, I just find it fascinating. And of course, that was my inspiration for Let's Kill Caesar. And also just an excuse to write a really kind of crazy book. Because if you're not a history student, um, let me tell you, even as a history student from like high school, I did not realize just to the extent how crazy the Re Roman Republic was. Like you hear all these crazy stories about the empire with the crazy emperors, my dudes, the, the absolute like peak pettiness of the Roman Republic, like just Julius Caesar and Cato, their feud, the T, like the T there is. And if you read Let's Kill Caesar, there's quite a bit of that mirrored in our character, Ayurveda Cato, and of course, Vero Caesar, um, which I absolutely adore writing those bits. It's so fun. But as I was saying, research. Um, before I started Let's Kill Caesar, I did about I'd like to say two, maybe three months of research. And bear in mind, I've been studying, I was studying this period at the same time, but there's so much when you're writing things inspired by history that you have to remember. And I try to be as accurate as I can, as well as it fits into what I'm trying to create. Obviously, 
it's not one of those amazing historical fiction masterpieces, but I am, you know, trying to capture the real kind of core of the Roman Republic and what it would be like and kind of mirror it so we can see how they would react to things if they had the forms that we have today. And a lot of that research, sadly, doesn't go into the really fun, just random crazy facts. Obviously, I do that, but that's just a hobby. Um, but a lot of it goes into the really, not boring, but tedious government systems. I've heard the word consul so many times in the past two years. It makes you want to cry. Yeah, if you haven't studied ancient history, basically the Roman... It's not even a constitution. They didn't have a written constitution. Basically, the Roman like structure of their political system makes you want to tear your own hair out. It's so complicated, and it's not like other things... Like, you'll look at, for example, I don't know, I don't specialise in, you know, I'm not studying this very much, but medieval Europe. Obviously, there's, like, one king and, you know, there's certain lords and nobles. Like, in England, they'd have the Lord of Duke of York, you know, things like that. It's confusing, but a bit more straightforward. No, the Roman Republic has offices that are constantly changing. So... The only thing, the only constant when you're writing this period is that there's always two consuls, which are basically like the two main people that run the show, um, the big office that everyone wants, and then all the other offices. The numbers change throughout history. So that for me has been really difficult because I, you know, when you're an author and you're delving into things like that, you want to keep it, you know, realistic and really grasp that historic aspect of the story you're trying to, you know, get across and, I don't know, draw people in with, but it can be so confusing, especially Roman history, because they could not make their minds up about law. Every freaking new consul that came in, the law was changed. Every time. And it's so confusing. And at this point, in my research, I just, I have like this huge notebook beside me it's like this thick just full of all the stuff I need to know and I do have a few tips with research number one if you are writing a book and you want it to have that maybe extra layer of something a bit different and you want it to be historically inspired and in, inspired go for it it can be really daunting at first getting all the research and knowing where to look but even just reading one article you're like stepping your way through and with a lot of historical or inspired things I'm not going to say historical fiction because a lot of those books are very extensively researched but with things that are inspired by history like for example if any of you have seen the show The Last Kingdom that's kind of loosely very loosely inspired by certain events so if you're wanting a world that kind of mirrors maybe a certain time period, there's no wrong time to jump in and read a little bit about it. And one thing I always have to remind myself is when I'm researching or writing in the midst and I don't remember something, usually I just put a little note there. Because even if I get the fact wrong or the little, you know, terminology turned around or something, you can always come back to it and check. Like, it's very, it's not very likely that your readers are going to read it and be like, actually, um, that date's wrong or that's an historical inaccuracy. Most of the time, they don't care. We're all human. It's difficult to keep up with all this stuff, let's be honest. Like, oh my gosh. Yeah, I find really helpful with particularly Let's Kill Caesar. I handwrite the entire thing. And then when I release chapters for my Wattpad books, not Wattpad books, for my for the Wattpad chapters, I can just, you know, type it up, edit it as I go. And also, it's really great because if I have little asterisks or little notes saying I need to fact check something, I can do it while I'm editing. So my advice with research is just jump in, you know. 
if you're really passionate, particularly about maybe a certain time period and you are struggling to maybe get inspired to write something, sometimes I find as like a fellow history buff, it's really useful to read, you know, interesting historical stories because it gets you immersed in this past and this society that's so different from our own and it does you know bubble up some ideas so yes that was my tangent on researching um I've done a lot for Let's Kill Caesar and sometimes I was literally writing oh, this one scene yesterday and I just completely had a mind blank and I was like what is the term for this I cannot remember for the life of me and then I look at it today and I'm just like that is the complete opposite of what I was going for but it's fine it's fine we grow we learn I also haven't released the newest chapter of Let's Go Caesar yet this week I'm sorry I have been so busy I have so much work and so much study and it's a bit overwhelming so I promise it will be released this week I'm aiming for it to get released tomorrow but it's just so chaotic at the moment for me um and also I want to be able to edit it well <laughs> I don't want you guys to get you know this version of it that's got typos or I don't know, weird wording. I just, I want it to be good. So please, um, thank you for being patient. Uh, it will be coming out this week. It just might be a bit later. I've been trying my best to get them out on schedule, but lately, especially this week, I've just had a thousand things to do. Um, new, you know, coursework and study and yeah. So, I'm a bit all over the place. I'm probably going on about the same things in this video, but it's fine. I'm just, I'm just tired. So <laughs> sorry about that. Um, but yeah, this ended up being a whole video about research. Sorry guys. <laughs> um, I think another thing though on <laughs> the research topic is that I find as well, like, I know lots of people really interested in Greek mythology um, and if you are wanting to write something based in that, it is always really useful to just read maybe a history book about the classical period or whatever period you're interested in just to get some background info. I don't know why I said that because that's so obvious. I'm sorry guys, I'm very tired. <sighs> yeah um i hope you guys are going well i hope you guys have been reading heaps i was gonna do a frankenstein vlog but then i um haven't barely read since i talked about last so yeah i'm in one of those reading slumps where you'll read heaps in like four weeks and you're like yes like loving it and then you'll just have like all this stuff happen and then you'll be like I could read tonight. Oh, I couldn't be bothered. Yeah. Which is sad because I'm really enjoying Frankenstein. Like, yeah. I'd like to know what books you guys are reading. Um, put book recs below because I need some that aren't all from Book Talk. Um, my For You page is just full of the same book recs at this point, And I really need some new material. <sighs> yeah. I'm always open to classics, so if you guys are reading a classic right now that you think is really great, or even if you just want to have a book rant below, like if you're reading something, you're like, oh my gosh, it's one character, please put it in the comments, let it out, because let me tell you, Victor and Frankenstein, he is getting on my nerves. He is so selfish, and oh, he's just annoying, like, his, like, weird cousin that's not related to him whatsoever elizabeth love her she's like like honestly the sweetest human being ever but victor no he is so mean like he literally only cares about himself he's like 
oh, I just can't stand them. Shout out to anyone else who's reading Frankenstein on Reddit and doesn't like Victor because I feel like that's like a universal feeling because you see all the pop culture stuff where it's like Frankenstein's a monster. No, Franken the monster of Frankenstein. You know what I mean? Where it's like the monster's like, ooh, the big bad guy. No. No. When you read the actual book, Mary Shelley's version, Victor's a little bitch. He's just mean. Like, he just takes advantage of everyone around him. And then he gets, like, annoyed when, like, it's just, he makes no sense. And once again, I'm just rambling on. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this really, really weird looping ramble. I'm a bit tired. Maybe next video I can practice Latin or something. Maybe I'll say hello in Latin. Yes, I don't know how to say hello in Latin. I used to know how to say, um, worship. I, I don't know. I can't remember what I was saying. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm sorry this was really repetitive and kind of weird. But thanks for watching and just wanted to upkeep it update sorry update you guys and yeah next week i will be full of energy hopefully and hopefully you'll hear more about frankenstein and maybe some other books so yeah happy reading and i'll see you guys next time